This is a short video about loading up documents onto the new Oxford Deaneries website. I'm assuming that you can get to the dashboard on the administrative site. To get to the administrative site, you will need a password that you can get from one of the administrators of the website. Once there, you need to go down to the document section and then onto all documents. You can see there documents that have already been added and we're wanting to add another. So we're going to go to the top, to the little sign that says add document. And so we're going to add a new document. And then we're going to pick the file that we're wanting to use. This will be stored somewhere on your home computer. You'll know what it is. Probably it will be a PDF, but just occasionally it may be a different sort of file. It usually goes to the media library, which are the files already on the website. But we want to put in a new file, so we're going to go to Upload Files. And then we're going to select the file that we need of our own computer to do that. You're going to need to locate where that is. So here we go, and we're going to put on the Cowley Deanery Action Plan 2015. So that's the one I'm going to highlight, and then I'm going to open the file, and it will load up, and you can see it coming in on the top left-hand corner. Once it's loaded, it will appear in the right place. It's on the way at the moment, and then we're going to select in the bottom right-hand corner that file to be attached. So we're going to give this a title, which is Cowley Deanery Action Plan. Now, you may want to put an insert or an excerpt in to tell you what it's about. I'm going to cut and paste a piece from the original document. So in that goes in there. And that's what will appear fairly easily for people to see. Over to the right hand side we need to select an image. I've loaded some images up already and I've got an image that talks about Cowley Deanery serving East Oxford so I'm going to use that one. Then going up that side, we decide where we want that image to appear, to the left, to the right, over the top. And we're just going to leave it so that the content, the words are on the left hand side. F moving further up, we then need to connect some connections. That will show us where it will appear in the list of documents. And this is a Cowley Deanery Synod paper. Cowley Deanery Synod Paper. So I'm going to click on there. You can see that that's come up under the document group. I'm going to move further up than that to the section about publishing. Now, so that it appears roughly in the right place, I'm going to give it a published date of December 2015. So I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to go to December I'm going to go to the 1st of December and we're going to go to 2015. I'm not going to worry about the time but I could put that on the right hand side if I wanted to. Then I'm going to click on OK. So that should have done all of the things that are needed. It should have given a title, attached a document, put an excerpt in, given us a picture that will be able to be used, decide where that picture and where the text will appear, created a connection, and then set the publish date. So I'm then going to publish. There we are. It says it's published. Now there's a sign that shows that it would have to update again. 
So going over this way, I'm going to click onto Documents and we'll just see if it is in place. We need to go right the way back to 2015. So here it is down there towards the bottom. So that should do the trick for you.